Today's episode of Retro Rob Plays Everything is brought to you by Evo Retro. Yep, I'm selling out quick. Hey there, real gamers and gatekeepers. Retro Rob here, and today I've got a video that comes courtesy of Evo Retro, who sent me this accessory kit. Uh, I generally do not do this kind of thing. I don't do accessory kits at all, really, but uh, it had a stand that I thought might be useful for my video, so I said, yeah, go ahead. Send it over and I'll take a look. Uh, if you're interested in this kit, by the way, I'll have a link down below. Uh, it's available on Amazon. They got a bunch of other stuff that they're selling, uh, but the ratings for this have been pretty high. So I have high hopes that the stand will work out for my needs. Uh, there's also a bunch of other stuff in here. So I'm going to cover what's inside and then I'll do a little total uh, with my amazing mad Amazon shopping skills to see if this pans out as far as the price for all these combined. Let's get going. All right, we're ready to unbox. Normally I would say, hey, this is the front of the box, which this is, but the back looks just the same, so it really kind of loses its shtick. Uh, but uh, look at that. It's a mystery. What's inside? Who knows? It could be anything. Actually, I do know what's inside it. Let's look at it. Alrighty. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, looks like most of the stuff is probably inside this case already. And we'll talk about that. And then here's the folding stand for the switch, which is one of the reasons why I got it. A little thing about, hey, leave a review for us. Super exciting. One Evo Retro sticker. All right, Stan, we'll look at it in a minute. I'm gonna start by opening this up and commenting on the uh, case itself and its contents. And I'm just gonna open this up and we're gonna make a big mess. Oh, look at it, it's all, it's all sealed up. Huh. All right. We'll take this out and show you that in a minute. Da, 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 da. Super exciting video so far. All right, starting with the case. It's a semi soft cider. It's hard, but it has kind of a cushiony feel to it. It's very similar to the case I already use for mine. Um, I do like this. It's got the, um, it's got a hollowed out area uh, for the right and left Joy-Con, so it fits in there a little bit better. That might actually be better than the one I have. Uh, it has a space for cartridges. Looks like one, two, three. There's ten spaces for cartridges. Nothing on the other side. When you lay this down, it protects the screen from damage. Up in here is a storage area. Looks like it can store most of what came with this. So. Starting out with the TPM case. It looks really quite nice. Is that TPM case? Is that what that's called? The plastic? Anyway, it's a nice little case. Not bad at all. Has a handle. And, oh yeah, forgot. Look at two zippers. Let's go on. All right, so a quick note on the capacity of this carrier. Opening it up. Okay, I've got that, uh, I've got the stand, and I've got a six foot charge cable along with an AC adapter, and then I could shove 10 games in here and the switch. So that's pretty decent capacity. I wasn't able to fit this guy in here without giving up on my AC adapter. So if you don't care about the AC adapter, you don't, you know, you could just throw this in there, it would fit. Uh, but if you need the AC adapter, it will store it uh, along with the stand, or I guess you could just take more games with if you don't want to take the stand, and the stylus, and a bunch of other games. So it works. 
It's a little tight in there, but it closes easily. I'm not like shoving it or anything, so not bad. All right, next, I've got this hard shell protector right here for the switch. And that I don't have currently, so that might actually be useful. Kind of wish I had this earlier. Uh, over time, the oils from your hands kind of make a mess of the back of the switch. I'm going to clean that up a little bit before I do this. Hold on. All right. Well, the back is still a little rough, so if you got a new switch, uh, this might be quite useful for you. And I'm going to snap this guy on there. And there we go. Got a little bit of a little bit of protection for the switch. It has a couple of cut out holes for the speakers. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm all right with that. Could have used that in the first place again. And then it also has these, and these are kind of rubberized. You can feel them, and these just slip over your Joy-Cons. And we'll just do that right here. And I like that they're clear, so they show the original Joy-Con color. And look at how I just jammed that. Ooh. Probably should have done that the other way. Here, we'll slip it in like that. And over. Here's a quick note, by the way. Uh, this is a first generation switch, and I have had no Joy-Con drift, which I hear is an unusual thing, because a lot of them had it. But mine, no problems. I've had no drift whatsoever on these. So next week, it's going to start drifting for sure. Because <laughs> I said that. All right. So now, look at that. My switch is completely protected. Not bad. I do like the rubberized feel of this, actually. And it gives it a little bit more chunk, which I could use. All right. So we got that. Next. There is a screen protector, and I'm not huge on screen protectors, but it does provide it. So there's that right there. It's a solid one. Uh, I shouldn't say solid. It's a hard one, not a soft one. Uh, by soft one, I mean there are ones that are basically a very thin film that you put over the screen, and this one's not that. A uh, quick note about these. There are instructions for how to install these online. You should absolutely follow the instructions. I'm not going to do it on mine because, again, I just don't use them. Notice I got no, no scratches on my screen. I've been pretty decent to it. But uh, note that there are instructions for installing these, and you should absolutely follow them for the best possible uh best possible outcome. There we go. Outcome uh, for this. And generally speaking, I know that these are recommended for these because uh, switches tend to go through a rough life. So it is nice to have some kind of screen protection. Next. Got this little case here. Urgh. It opens. There we go. Oh, it yeah, it snaps. Oh, nice. All right, so it unsnaps. Space four. Let's see. Is it on both sides? So it looks like 12 games. So if you combine this, put it up here, you could have 22 games total in this case. So that's not too bad. And you could probably fit... Uh, your power cable in there as well because the power cable on this switch isn't very big Maybe I should try that. Oh Also included is a little screen cleaner that is going to be very useful for when you are Applying Your screen protector Okay, so that works pretty decently uh, Yeah, it's not leaving anything behind so it's not one of those cloths that leaves a bunch of junk on your screen afterwards, so pretty happy with that. Not a problem. Next, got a couple of these little thumb caps. Uh, they act not only to perfect, perfect. Man, how many times do I mispronounce something in a video? Anyway, protect uh, your 
Joy-Cons, but they also provide a little bit more gription uh, for your thumb. So if you have a problem with that, uh, where your thumb's slipping off of these, this might be the solution for you. There. <laughs> Wait, I put that one on wrong. There we go. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, that feels good. Don't know if I'm gonna keep them on there, uh, but if you are having problems with slipperiness, there's your solution right there. See? There, zoom in. Fits on nice, doesn't feel like they're gonna fall off or anything. All right, what else do we got here? Uh, real quick, I know people are gonna wanna know if it'll fit in the dock with this on, and as you can see, it works just fine. Uh, moves smoothly, doesn't appear to be pressing on the screen or scratching it or anything, so it looks like it's okay. All right, so next we've got this pen right here that also acts as a touch screen stylus. So there we go, I scribbled. And then, I'm gonna lock this up, there we go. And I can select things with it. Especially useful if you keep fumbling through these little system settings here. So, if you got problems with that, this is gonna help you. Nice. Works well enough. And finally, we have the folding stand. <laughs> Support pliable. Compatible with N-Switch. I think it works with some other stuff too. I think the clamp is adjustable, as I recall. Uh, let's look at the back of the box. So, look at that, now you guys got that too. Features, phone, tablet, game holding stand. Anti-slippery with rubber design. Easy to install, carry, and ultra lightweight. Foldable and reliable design. Available in black or yellow. I think mine's black. Alrighty, here we go. This is the thing out of here that I really wanted, so hopefully this will work in the way I would like. All right, so it feels, I don't really feel the rubberiness. Oh yeah, there is some rubber on here. It is fairly light. All right, I was babbling a little bit, uh, so I'm reshooting this particular part. Uh, basically, you open it up by uh, pulling on it like this. In the back here is a little a little clippy thing, there we go. See right there? Stands like that. You pop this little guy open, and there you go. A stand for your switch, gives it a little bit of height. And yeah, I think this is going to work for what I want it for. Uh, sometimes I'm doing a video with a controller. Hold on, let's get a controller real quick. Yep, and I want the controller and the game in the same screen. So, there we go. And we can start this game right here that's not gonna be named because it's a hint for a future video. <laughs> there we go. Yes, this will work perfectly for what I want it to work for. <laughs> I could use some better wording. By the way, uh, I'm looking for somebody to write scripts for this show. If anybody wants to do that, uh, give me a holler. A retro Rob at guysgamesandbeer.net. I clearly, clearly need to start doing these scripted. But anyway, yes, it absolutely works. So I'm happy about that. Let's wrap this up. All right, there we go. In this kit for about $38, I've got this case, the protective cover for the Switch. We've got this stand. We've got this guy right here for extra cartridges and We've got this little fella right here. So let's toll it up and see how it does as far as value. Alrighty folks, time to add things up. Um, I'm going to not count the coupons on this. There is a coupon for this. All right, so those of you who don't know how this works, I'm just gonna run through this real quick. So you know I'm not being shady. Well, shadier than usual anyway. Uh, it's. Its normal price is $42.99, the prime price is $38.69, uh, plus there's an extra 5% off if you use the coupon. So if I add it to my cart right now, it will go, here we go, let's proceed to the cart. It will go 
down to 3676 before tax. And we're going with pre-tax numbers, tax numbers, not tax. It's not Texas. We're not going pre-Texas. Texas has been around for a while. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, not pre-Texas. But anyway, uh, all right, so we've got 3860. We're, oh, I'm sorry, not that. We're going to work with 3869 is the price. So that is the price we got to beat. I'm going to start out with the pen. Um, the pen does write, but I'm going to go with the least expensive model. So there's a few different models of these that come in between like $19. I don't, I don't know why they're so expensive, to be honest, but between $19 and $10. I'm going to give it the $10 one, which is the cheapest one available. Says it's for the Switch. I think that's fair enough. Uh, they're a little bit different from each other, but we'll go with uh, $9.95. So here we go. $9.95 plus. All right, what's our next thing? Next thing we found was the carrying case. This is very similar to the carrying case they showed. It's got uh, 20 game capacity as opposed to a 10. Uh, but as a bonus, it is the cheapest one available. Again, I'm not going to use the coupon, so we're going to do $10.99 for this one. Plus, there we go. So we're at $20.49 or $20.94. And then we got, uh, we got the accessories case. This looks very similar to the one uh, that's included in the kit. So, so $9.99. And then the last thing that's in the kit is the uh, switch stamp for $10.79. And I think this one's identical to the one that is in the kit. So $9.99. And that's it. That's what's in the kit uh, because the other thing's included. So $40.92. And then their price again is uh, 38.69. So you're saving a little bit if you go this way with it and it's all the things that you wanted. Uh, the stylus, again, we could probably do plus or minus $5, I think. We could just shop it out that way. But it's, it's pretty much a solid deal. If you wanted all these things, that's the way to get it. It does have the coupons, you can count them. I wasn't sure whether, uh, whether this would be available here when you saw this video. So I'll just go with, looks like you're a couple bucks ahead, buck 52 bucks ahead. So, you know, good enough. If you want everything that's in there, the pen's a little bit better than the one I quoted. Yeah, you might as well go ahead. The quality seems pretty decent. It has a lot of really positive reviews here on Amazon. Where the heck is that thing? What, what am I doing? Anyway, where is it? Let's let's look at the Amazon reviews real quick. Before we head out, I might as well do that. Mm. Mm. Amazon, why not just let me back up? There we go. Okay, it did. I just don't know what I'm doing, that's all. All right. So uh, looking at it, it's got 33 ratings, and this looks pretty good. Looks like all the reviews are four or five stars. So... I'm not the only one who thinks it's okay. It looks like it's a fairly good deal. I will put a link down to it below. So if you want to see more videos like this, this is something I don't generally do. Uh, do me a big favor. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget, as always, thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.